Hello and welcome to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid on the Game Boy Color. I'll be doing this on the, the hardest mode, uh, which is very hard. Um, you probably doing um, one video per mission, uh, with the exception of this one, which is just the introduction sequence, which I shall narrate. Probably take me about ten minutes. It's been a long time, Snake. Didn't expect to see you again. Drink. Got scotch. Single malt. Straight up and neat. If I remember right. That you do. This house. Built it myself. Didn't know you were a carpenter. You know, it's already been three years since you left. How's Alaska been treating you? Colonel, did you come all the way out here with the cavalry to make small talk with me? Trouble, huh? The world is on the brink of nuclear holocaust. We came to request your help. Request as if I have the choice to refuse. You do. I know too well that you can't be ordered or coerced. But you'll say yes because you need to. Let me tell you about it first. A week ago, a C-5 Galaxy Transport plane on a classified mission to South America vanished. T terrorists? Of course. But the problem is what it was carrying. Nuke. Yes, and some. It was Metal Gear. What? Nuclear capable bipedal armoured vehicle designed to realise the possibility of nuclear strikes from anywhere on the planetary surface. Uh, the devil's candy of mass destruction to change the meaning of nuclear warfare. And it was on that plane. But I. Yes, you destroyed Metal Gear in Outer Heaven seven years ago. But the US government recognised the strategic advantages of Metal Gear and secretly extracted the data from Outer Heaven. Uh, the development continued just under a different flag. The South American hop was probably for a field exercise. Christ. Metal Gear's researchers were also on board. The idea of Metal Gear in terrorist hands goosed Washington into finding out its new location in just a week. C came in today. Where? Gindra. Gindra? Looks a bit like South Africa. Um, Central Africa, fairly small. I heard there was a civil war going on. An armed uprising by a separatist ethnic minority. And that peacekeeping troops were deployed. So the hermit keeps up with the news. Metal Gear is in the hands of the armed separatist group Ginger Liberation Front, commonly known as GLF. Their leader is General Augustine Egwabon, charismatic and armed to the teeth. They operate out of a virtually impregnable fortress, Galloway, in the mountains. Neither the Gingen government nor the UN can get to them. 
We also have intel that they recently hired several top-class mercenaries as consultants. We suspect that the mercenaries executed the Metal Gear hijacking. So they plan to win their independence by threatening nuclear strikes with Metal Gear. Snake, come with me to Gindra. We need you. We need the legend. Don't call me that. I know all the names for a killer, and that's one of them. A military dictatorship in possession of Metal Gear. Um, damn it, you know they won't hesitate to push. That button. <laughs> and millions will die. Colonel, I'm not in Foxhound anymore. You're saying you won't go? Why can't you leave me alone? Alaska is quiet and my life is good. You won't change your mind? No. Even if I tell you that the fortress Galliwade, GLF's home base, was once called Outer Heaven. What? The very same place where you went to war seven years ago, destroyed Metal Gear and became the legend. Is there a connection? I don't know. But the fact is, there is Metal Gear in Outer Heaven. Do you believe in coincidence? I believe in conspiracy. And you want me to find out. I'm asking you to join me. If the past is at your heels, you turn around and face it. Am I wrong? End it once and for all. It's all back there in outer heaven. Tell me about this mission. Your mission is to infiltrate the fortress Galloway, rescue the hostages and neutralize Metal Gear before its assembly is complete. Steve Gardner, the National Security Advisor, is in command of this mission. Gardner himself? America's best kept secret just got hijacked and may be used in a terrorist attack. Who else? A national crisis, in fact. A global one, I'd say. And one more thing. The Army's Delta Force is already in Galloway. Carry out the mission in concert with them. Whose bright idea was this? John Parker, Army Chief of Staff. Top Army Brass, huh? Metal Gear's development was under Army control. They of course want to do something about the situation themselves. In addition, four people will serve as your backup personnel via the codec. First, Mei Ling. Awfully young. Doesn't look like a soldier. PhD candidate at MIT. Incidentally, she, de she developed the new radar and codec system you'll be using. She'll be in charge of mission logs. Saving as well. When you have a question about the radar or the codec or need to log in, save, contact her at frequency 140.96. Brian McBride, Africa Desk, Director of Operations, Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. 
Don't look so disgusted. McBride effectively planned this mission and has ex expert knowledge of Gindran affairs. Ask him about the mission, GLF or Gindran environment if you need to. Frequency is 141.52. Renard Lensenbrink, alias Weasel, a mercenary. I've heard of him. Word is he's about as trustworthy as a weasel. But he's good. Some say as good as Solid Snake the Legend. So why isn't he working at the field on this one? The US government apparently has more trust in you. I doubt that. Anyway, Weasel's a player in the mercenary circle. He's well up on the soldiers of fortune from all over the world. And we know that GLF contracted some major ones. If you run across a live one, get Weasel on the codec. He'll have something useful for you. I have field control of this mission. Frequency is 140.85. If anything happens, contact me ASAP so I can stay on top of it. Colonel, didn't you retire from Foxhound two years ago? Why this mission? No one can carry this mission out but you. I was only called in because I know you well. And that's all. I also have a score to settle with the past. We all have our shadows, Snake. Snake, we've arrived over Outer Heaven. Galloway. Ready to descend. We're counting on you. I know. It's all back here. And that's the end of uh, the introduction. In the next part I will do the first mission. Uh, so I'll see you then. Um, goodbye.